Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sound 427 And actually, today, I'm going to come at you with another top 10. And today, I'm actually going to be listing off my top 10 favorite Duddy pay-per-views of all time. Over the years, there's been a ton of Duddy pay-per-views. And these are the 10 that I've watched all throughout the years and have stood out to me the most. Each a pay-per-view, I'm not going to go over every single match. I'm actually going to go over the top three matches at each pay-per-view. And starting out at my number 10 spot, I actually have the Royal Rumble 2008. And the Royal Rumble 2008 actually took place on January 27, 2008. Live from New York City, New York, and Madison Square Garden. In front of 20,798 fans with 575,000 pay-per-view buys. Now, one of the main things I actually loved about the show and about the set is that it had the little, like, when you actually walk through the stage, the little, uh... Interest way now I heard that dirty doesn't do that anymore not because they don't want you but because they redid MSG which I really would love for that to come back but I guess MSG changed and the top three matches I really remember 2008 is actually for the World Heavyweight Championship Edge versus Rey Mysterio with Edge actually picking up the victory that was a very good match with Edge returning his World Heavyweight Championship. Then you had Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton for the Dirty Championship. And this is Jeff Hardy's like kind of coming out party. Because uh, this is like he won his first uh, chances at the WWE Championship. And he was an Intercontinental Champion at the time. This is actually a really, really good match. Then also you had, you had the Twist of Fate turning into the RKO at the end, which is a great spot. And getting into the end event was a Dirty Man Royal Rumble match. Dirty Man Royal Rumble match. Everybody knows this one. John Cena made his epic return. It's one of the greatest returns inside WWE history. It's not wrestling history. It's one of the greatest returns. And the Dirty Man Ray Rumble match it actually came down to him and Triple H. It was Josh Cena won. Now, I believe around this time, a lot of people thought that Triple H was actually going to win, but Triple H actually didn't end up uh, picking up the victory. But who turned in John Cena and he went on to win his Royal Rumble match. And this was actually his first Royal Rumble win ever. And actually, moving on to my number nine spot, I actually have WrestleMania 17. And it actually took place on April 1st, 2001 from Houston, Texas at the Reliant Astro Dome in front of 67,925 people with 1,040,000 pay-per-view buy pay buys. Now, I actually heard that this was the first pay-per-view, this was the first wrestling pay-per-view with a million pay-per-view buys. Top three matches on this show was actually TLC2, Edge and Christian versus the Hardys versus the Dudleys. And you actually had Undertaker versus Triple H. And uh, this is a really great match as well. The Undertaker, of course, he picked up the victory, keeping the streak alive. The main event of the show was actually, actually Stone Cold versus The Rock, no disqualification for the WWF Championship. And you know, this is a great match as well. This is Stone Cold's heel turn as well. A great show. And moving on to my number eight spot, I actually have another WrestleMania. This is actually WrestleMania 31, March 29th, 2015, from Santa Clara. California at the Levi Stadium in front of 76, 976 fans. And the top three matches at WrestleMania 31 was actually a no disqualification match between Triple H and Sting, with Triple H picked up the victory, which I thought was one of the stupidest outcomes to a match of all time. We actually had Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt, which I was kind of down on this because it was like Undertaker's streak was over already, so it kind of didn't even matter anymore, but Undertaker picked up the victory. And of course, the big man event, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. This was when it wasn't done a million times for the Dirty World Heavyweight Championship. We all know what happened. This turned into a triple threat match with Seth Rollins actually cashing in his money in the bank and winning the Dirty World Heavyweight Championship. That was a great, great match. And this was a really, really good WrestleMania. One of the I feel like this is one of the this is the best WrestleMania that's been like in the last ten years. This is probably the best WrestleMania right here. Seven spot. I actually have SummerSlam. 2013, which took place August 18th, 2013, from Los Angeles, California, in the Staples Center, in front of 17,739 with 296 pay per view buys. 296,000 pay per view buys. And the top three matches on this show was actually for the World Heavyweight Championship, Alberto Del Rio versus Christian. And this was a really, really good match. Uh, I really feel like Christian should have probably won this match because they kept putting the, uh, the, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship on Alberto Del Rio, and it was kind of like, uh, who even cares about him at the time? But to be honest, the World Heavyweight Championship was kind of treated as a mid-card title by this time. So it kind of really didn't matter. But yeah, this is a great match. I brought it real as he picked up the victory. And this is one of my favorite matches right here. Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk inside of a no-disqualification match. 
such a fantastic match. If you want to hear more about this, go check out my top 10 uh, favorite my top 10 favorite Duddy matches of all time, which I'll link that inside the description box below. But yeah, that was a fantastic match. Brock Lesnar, she picked up the victory. And inside the main event, you had Tina versus Daniel Bryan for the Duddy Championship. And of course, Randy Orton cast in at the end of the night. But this John Cena and Daniel Bryan match, it is one of John Cena's greatest matches of all time. Because he actually was injured, I believe his elbow got infected or something like that. You seen a huge bulge the uh, next night on Raw. But yeah, he actually put over Daniel Bryan clean, but then Randy Orton actually cashed in the money in the bank, and so he walked out as the WWE Champion. Going to my number six spot, another SummerSlam. SummerSlam 2002, August 25th, 2002, from Uniondale, New York, Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, in front of 14,797 fans, with 540,000 quick review buys. For the Intercontinental Championship match, which is Rob Van Dam versus Chris Benoit. The RVD actually picked up the victory over Benoit, and actually a non-sanctioned match, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels. This match is absolutely fantastic. Undisputed, WWE Undisputed Championship, you had The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. This is when he really ascended to the top and, and, and became the WWE Champion and became the top guy in WWE until he actually left. But moving on to my number five spot, I actually have Vengeance 2005, which is a Raw exclusive pay-per-view, which doesn't feel like a Raw exclusive pay-per-view once I start going down to big matches. It took place on June 26, 2005 from Las Vegas, Nevada, from the Thomas and Mack Center. And, you know, you know, think about this. This card is absolutely stacked. I mean, some of the matches on here, th th this could be WrestleMania worthy card. Like, the thing about it is that you had two world champions on one show. What I'm talking about is uh, Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle, which is actually part two to the WrestleMania match. Since they were on the same brand now, they want to actually do a part two to, to that match. Since that's one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. And Shawn Michaels actually picking up the victory. And the WWE Championship match, John Cena versus Chris Jericho versus Christian. But in the main event, you actually had World Heavyweight Championship, Hell in a Cell match, Batista versus Triple H. And which Batista actually picked up the victory. This is the end of their feud. So they already had three matches at this point. And this is a great Hell in a Cell match. One of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. Absolutely love this match. Absolutely love Batista and Triple H. And this whole feud was fantastic since it started in like January after Batista won the Royal Rumble and turned on Triple H. And moving on to my number four spot, I actually got SummerSlam 2008, which took place August 17th, 2008, from Indianapolis, Indiana, from the Conseco Field House, in front of 15,997 fans for 477,000 pay per view buys. And the top three matches on this show were the WWE Championship, Triple H versus The Great Khali, which is a very interesting match. This match is actually a good match. Even though, you know, I think Triple H, Great Khali, I really don't want to see it. I really don't know why they put Great Khali back in the WWE Championship match. I mean, it actually was a pretty good to decent, decent to good match, to be honest. And it, it, it wouldn't be worth your time. It's only like nine or ten minutes anyway. But Batista versus John Cena, this is actually the first time ever. It's actually a really good match as well. This is the first time ever. Maybe they should have just waited till Mania, but then Batista was hurt anyway. But this is a pretty big match because these guys were top guys. And they never were on the same brand. But until now, until Raw had on the same brand, which Raw and Raw still was pretty stacked in 2008. The main event is actually a Hell in a Cell match. Undertaker versus Edge. Now, this is a great... This I believe this is my favorite Hell in a Cell match. I'll probably have to really think about it, but this, this is definitely top two Hell in a Cell matches. Undertaker versus Edge. Of course, Undertaker picked up the victory, threw him through the ring, put fire to him. Edge was out for a few months. I believe he was injured. I don't think it was storyline thing. I think he was actually injured because he didn't return to that Survivor Series, but this was an actually fantastic match. You definitely check this out in this Hell in a Cell match. Three spots. You have WrestleMania 21 which took place April 3rd, 2005 from Los Angeles, California in the Staples Center in front of 20,193 fans with pay-per-view buys of 1,090,000. And the top three matches on this, Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels, which I actually just talked about Avengers 2005, but this is an absolutely fantastic match. If you have not seen this match, go check it out. I mean, it's absolutely great. Shawn Michaels did tap out to the ankle lock in this match, but it's, it's still, it's, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic match. It's absolutely amazing. And the Duddy Championship match, JBL versus John Cena. This match is good just to get John Cena over. And that's all it really needed to actually do. 
with John Cena picking up the victory. And for the World Heavyweight Championship, Triple H versus Batista. Batista went over. In the number two spot, Royal Rumble 2007. Took place January 28th, 2007. San Antonio, Texas, AT&T Center in front of 13,500 with pay-per-view buys of 525,000. Top three matches on this show was for the World Heavyweight Championship, Batista versus Mr. Kennedy for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, you all knew Batista was going to win this match. This was like before somebody wins the World Championship, they actually fight for the World Championship and they actually lose. So this is like that, that catapult match. It was, it was a pretty decent match. No, Batista was going to win anyway. Dirty Championship match, last man standing match between John Cena and Umaga. Now, if this is absolutely fantastic. This is another match that was in my top 10 favorite matches of all time. Yeah, but this match, I mean, I actually go in, de in detail on that video even more with it. But this match is absolutely fantastic. Cena's best match to the date. And this is probably Umaga's best match ever, to be honest. And in the main event, you actually had a Dirty Man Roy Rumble match with came down to Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, which is absolutely fantastic. If you have not seen, just not even a whole match, if you have not seen that ending, it's absolutely amazing with Undertaker coming out on top and facing Batista at WrestleMania, which is going into my number one spot. WrestleMania 23 is my number one favorite pay-per-view of all time, taking place on April 1st, 2007, from Detroit, Michigan, Ford Field, 80,103, with 1 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. Now, th th this one holds... There's a special place in my heart because I remember having a DVD at the time, at the time of 2007, and watching this and being like absolutely amazed because it just, it was fantastic. And this was the first WrestleMania that I ever seen because I don't think I ever seen the WrestleMania up until this point. Like, I always heard what happened at the WrestleMania, but I never seen the WrestleMania up until this point. But the top three matches on this show was actually for the World Heavyweight Championship. Batista versus Undertaker went on and continued the streak. This is one of my favorite streak matches of all time. This match is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's really better than what I even expected at that time. It's better than. And another match is that the Battle of the Billionaires. Donald Trump versus Vince McMahon. Bobby Lashley versus Umaga with Stone Cold Steve Austin as the special guest referee. And th this is a great match as well. This is it's, it's a great fun match. I mean, it's not in the ring, anything like that. But it's a great fun match, especially with Stone Cold being there as well. Them shaving Vince McMahon's head. And in the main event, you have the WWE Championship, Shawn Michaels versus John Cena. And this is a really, really great main event of WrestleMania. I personally do like the Raw 2007 April 23rd match more than this, but this still is a great match. John Cena best WrestleMania match to the day. I mean, out of all his WrestleMania matches they had up until that point, this was definitely, definitely the best. But tell me what you guys think about my top 10 favorite daddy pay-per-views of all time. Name your list inside the comment section below. Marsan427, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.